Hello and welcome to the news magazine Driving Growth of the Ministry of Road Transport and Highways. We wish our listeners a very happy new year. Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi laid the foundation stone of 179 km long Delhi Dehradun Expressway to be built at a cost of rupees 8500 crore and Haridwar spur connecting Haridwar with Delhi Dehradun Expressway at a cost of rupees 2100 crore This expressway will significantly reduce the travel time from Delhi to Dehradun from 6 hours to around 2 and a half hours and Delhi to Haridwar to almost half which will boost tourism The six lane greenfield access control expressway will reduce the pollution level and facilitate smooth trading of agricultural and other products strengthening its market accessibility thus generating more employment opportunities it will have seven major interchanges for connectivity to haridwar muzaffarnagar shamli yamuna nagar bagpat meerut and badol which could be a turning point for the real estate market in dehradun haridwar ring road will solve the generation old issue of congestion and provide better connectivity to kumaon region it will also create a seamless traveling for the people in Haridwar and create a huge market for the natural medicinal products as well. It will also have Asia's largest wildlife elevated corridor for unrestricted wildlife movement. The Prime Minister also inaugurated various projects like road widening of Dev Prayag to Sri Kot and Brahmapuri to Kodiyala. The Uttarakhand Chief Minister Sri Pushkar Singh Dhami and Union Road Transport and Highway Secretary Sri Giridhar Armani were also present on the occasion. Union RTH Minister Shinitin Gadkari chaired a national conference on investment opportunities in highways, transport and logistics in Mumbai. The conference was organized with a view to emphasize on the importance of collaboration between various central and state government ministries, its agencies and the private sector to provide an impetus to India's logistics sector and is in line with the vision of the PM through the PM Gati Shakti National Master Plan. Speaking at the occasion, Sri Gadkari urged investors to come forward and invest with an open mind in the infrastructure sector. Secretary Maud Sri Girdhar Armane said that the aim of the government under the able leadership of the Prime Minister was to make Indian logistics system comparable to best in the world by reducing the logistics cost of India to 8 to 10%. Union Road Transport and Highways Minister Shri Nitin Gadkari inaugurated four national highway projects worth Rs 3,037 crore with total length of 146 km in Mirzapur in Uttar Pradesh and laid foundation stone for three national highway projects in Jaunpur, which will cover 86 km with a total cost of Rs 1,123 crore. Speaking on the occasion, Shri Gadkari emphasized on the infrastructure development for employment generation and economic prosperity. These road projects will boost tourism and congestion-free travelling and promote utensil trade and other local trades. A tourist circuit from Mirzapur, Bhadohi, Jaunpur, Ayodhya is under construction which will promote religious tourism in the area and facilitate easy travelling for devotees. Also, a six-lane bridge will be constructed on the Ganga River to solve congestion issue. It will also facilitate easy transportation of raw materials, handicrafts as well as agro-products to the market. Union RTH Minister Shri Nitin Gadkari, in the presence of MOS RTH General, retired Dr. V.K. Singh, inaugurated NH projects with a total cost of Rs. 8,364 crore in Meerut, dedicating to the nation. He also laid foundation stone of NH projects worth Rs. 755 crore in Muzaffarnagar in Uttar Pradesh. These projects will not only provide better connectivity and market accessibility to the sugarcane farmers to lead them to their economic uplift but also help in overall development of the city as well as seamless commuting. In a separate event, the minister also laid the foundation stone of various NH projects in Amethi and Pratapgarh which will boost the highway infrastructure. Union Road Transport and Highways Minister Shri Nitin Gadkari has said, in order to substitute India's import of petroleum as a fuel and to provide direct benefits to farmers, the automobile manufacturers in India have now been advised to start manufacturing flex fuel vehicles and flex fuel strong hybrid electric vehicles complying with BS6 norms in a time bound manner within six months. Shri Gadkari said, this move will drastically reduce greenhouse gas emissions from vehicles on a well to wheel basis, helping India to comply with its commitment made at COP26 to reduce the total projected carbon emissions by 1 billion tons by 2030. 
the ministry participated in an exhibition organized by Department of Administrative Reforms and Public Grievances on the occasion of Good Governance Week, which was celebrated from 20th to 25th December to showcase various achievements during a special campaign. Secretary Mort Shigirdhar Armani made a presentation on the National Workshop on Increasing Efficiency of Decision-Making by Optimizing Levels in Channel of Submission in the presence of Cabinet Secretary Sri Rajib Gaba. Sri Armani said delegation has helped in reducing the consumption of time for decision making. Sri Gaba complimented Mort and other ministries for improving the efficiency of decision making. JS coordination Sri Kamlesh Chaturvedi and JS logistics Sri Suman Prasad Singh also visited Mort's stall at the exhibition. Morth has proposed to allow rigid vehicles and trailers to have a maximum of three decks to transport two wheelers. This will enhance the carriage capacity of two wheelers by 40 to 50 percent. Morth has proposed that from 1st March 2022, the procedure for type approval and certification of road train shall be in accordance with Automotive Industry Standards 113 as amended from time to time till the corresponding BIS specifications are notified under the BIS Act 2016. That's all for now. Have a nice day.